Dawn Dares to Dream, I like to inspire and motivate adults to dream again. Because as we go through life and take on our different roles and responsibilities, we tend to put our dreams on the back burner. And my goal here at Dawn Dares to Dream is to help you pick those dreams back up and to pursue them again. Now, I, I want you to understand, I started Dawn Dares to Dream because I wanted to relay my message and my heart and my feelings across to whomever would listen. It can be difficult getting your closest family and friends to understand the way that you believe and when you try to express it and share it. So this was like my back door way into <laughs> letting everybody know. Now I may have lost some viewers as a result of that because they don't agree. And that's fine. I am definitely a proponent of everyone having their own thoughts, their own process, their own mindset that works for them. Your religion works for you, you keep that. No one's telling you to get rid of that. Whatever it is that works for you, continue to use it. I'm just saying that sprinkle some of this other information on it, this personal development information that I'm providing you and see where your life takes you and how you take off personally. But always remember, we are in control of how we see our environment. I don't care what everyone says it looks like or everyone says it is, we are in control of how we choose to perceive the environment. Hey dreamers, welcome back. And welcome to all the new dreamers who stopped by Dawn Dares to Dream today to see what we're all about. Today we are now embarking on a new series, Living Life with Our Eyes Wide Open. Yes, I said it, wide open. I have made references to living our lives with our eyes wide open throughout several of my different series. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the next three episodes to educate you on what it is exactly that I mean by living life with your eyes wide open. If you've been studying the law of attraction, like myself, you're like, okay, I've practiced all of the techniques. I've written my affirmations. I wrote my script. I'm visualizing. I'm dreaming. Why hasn't <laughs> my particular desire manifested yet? And I'm going to tell you, it has a lot to do with this concept of living life with our eyes wide open. What that truly means is once you've decided on what you want, You've done your, um, you've done all of your techniques. You have to look out for the manifestation. You gotta keep your eyes open because what you need already exists. It wasn't hiding from you. It's right there, right there. You could touch it, feel it, taste it. If your eyes are wide open. Remember my example about my home. I wanted to purchase a home. And so I initially tried to go the traditional route, which means I went to a bank to see if I can get a loan. I didn't even understand the concept of mortgage broker at the time and going that route. I just knew banks gave out loans, so I'm going to go to a bank. And then when the bank informed me how much money I had to put down in order to get, take a loan out, you know, when it came time for purchasing a home, I was like, I'm not going to have that money. But I had already been receiving those little advertisements, the mailers, to my home talking about purchasing a home with no money down and with having a low cost mortgage. These flyers were coming to my house every week. So do you understand where I'm coming from? Eyes wide open. I had decided I wanted a home. These flyers already were coming. I was throwing them in the trash. And then when I decided I wanted to purchase a home and I couldn't do the traditional route, I was a little disappointed and then it hit me because those things kept coming in the mail, right? So one came in the mail and I was like, you know what? I'm calling these people right now. And I called and I made an appointment and I'm living in that home today. So once you make the decision on what it is that you want, what it is that you desire, what it is that you want to do or, or a place that you want to go or how you want to live, whatever that goal is that you've made for yourself, you have to open your eyes because the opportunity to achieve that goal, to live that dream is right in front of you. The universe is not playing games, people. The universe is not playing any games. Everything that we need is right here. We live literally in a world of abundance. Remember, I grew up in church and in church, we talked about our needs were met, you know, because God supplied our needs. And it hit me as an adult, how come I'm sitting here worried about 
paying this bill, paying that bill, or can I go on vacation, or can I do this, or can I do that, or am I going to be able to keep my job, or am I going to lose my job? Why am I worried about these things? Because if God can take care of the insects, roaches for crying out loud, I mean roaches, people, they live in a world of abundance. They're running around here, eating our food, living their best life, multiplying by the thousands. Think about it. If God is taking care of and or providing for the animals, for the insects, for every living thing, why are we so worried that our needs are not going to get met? Our desires are not going to get met. They are because abundance is all around us and you have to walk and talk that abundance. That's a part of keeping your eyes wide open, knowing that you already have it, not that you're going to get it. Not that it's way out in the ether somewhere and you don't know where it is and you're waiting for it to be attracted to you. It's already here. You know why it's already here? Because you made a decision that you wanted it. You put that out into the universe. You said, I want this. You prayed to God and said, this is my desire, Lord. Bless me with this, please. And you were thankful and grateful for the thing before you even had it. You have faith, right? That blind belief. That blind belief is going to manifest into the thing that you desire. Tomorrow, we're going to talk a little bit more about belief. Today, we're talking about mindset because we have to set our minds. We have to train ourselves to be mindful of what's going on in here because doubt is always going to creep in. That's what it's there for <laughs> because the longer you're waiting for what it is that you want, the more you doubt that you're even ever going to get it. You can't continue to live in a world of doubt. You have to understand that you live in a world of abundance and that your needs are always met. My desires are always met. For instance, I play little games where I go to the grocery store and I'm like, well, this is the amount of money that I want to spend and I want to get everything that I want. But this is what I want to spend. I go and I pick up everything it is that I desire for the different meals that I'm going to make that week. And I go to the register and I just put everything on the belt. I don't add anything up and I watch the thing go ding, 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 ding. And when it's all said and done, I usually have a dollar or two left over for the budgeted amount that I had set forth to spend in that store at that moment, that day. Do you understand? And I laugh when this happens. And when I'm shopping, I say... My needs are always met. There's always more than enough. So, okay, I only have $2 left from the money that I spent, but that was more than enough to make the purchase at that moment in time. You have to change the way that you're thinking. Our minds have a lot to do with how we manifest, how quickly we manifest, how long it takes to manifest, if it ever even manifests at all. It's about our mindset because what we think is what our reality shall be. What we think is what our reality is. I hope you're listening to me. We have to live life with our eyes wide open. Once you decide on what it is that you desire, what it is that you want, whatever, whatever it is that you need, then you have to pause and keep that thought there. You have to focus with intention. And again, doubt is going to come in. But when that doubt comes in, you say another positive affirmation. Remember, you've already done your prep work. You've already done your techniques. So you've written out some affirmations about the thing that you want. You've written out a script. You're imagining it. So when that negative thought comes in, that thought of doubt comes in, you have to push it out. And you push it out with the prep work that you've done. If you're new to the law of attraction, that's what the whole techniques are about. We don't need the techniques to manifest. The techniques are there to help you put into practice the law of attraction in your life actively because it's a new way of thinking that I already have it and you don't see it nowhere in sight. And you're saying I already have it. You don't see it anywhere in sight. So that doubt comes in. What are you talking about? You already got it. You a girl, you, you barely got two pennies to rub together to talk about you a millionaire. Cause that's your, the goal that you set for yourself, right? I'm a millionaire. I'm a millionaire. But then when you look around your life, all you see is lack. You have to change your mindset and you have to think, are all of my needs met right now? Yeah, you got a lot of desires and you want to do all these things and you have a desire to be a millionaire, right? But concentrate on that. All my needs are met right now. 
I live in this beautiful place wherever it is right now. I am blessed right now. You have to learn to pull in that energy and that emotion so that you can raise your vibration so that you can open your eyes to seeing the possibilities, the true possibilities in front of you to obtain what it is that you desire. And the next question I have for you, we say a lot about money when we're talking about the law of attraction. And you will find a lot of people are teaching you how to manifest specific amounts of money, right? Is it the dollars that you need or is it something that you really want and desire? What's the tangible thing that you desire? So if you want to be a millionaire, what does that look like? What are those types of things that you desire in your life to make you feel like you are a million bucks? Because sometimes it's not about the money. It's about the life experiences that we have. How much are we enjoying ourselves today? Because that joy that we have today in our lives, that gratefulness and that thankfulness today, the blessings that we have today, lots of times they outweigh what we think we need or want. But we have to open our eyes. How is God going to bless you when you can't be grateful for where you are right now, when you can't find the good in the people that you're with, the places that you go, in the job that you have, in your relationship with your children, your relationship with your spouse, your relationship with yourself. Are you loving yourself? You have a goal that you want a spouse, right? But what are you doing to love yourself, to show yourself how much you love yourself? Are you taking care of yourself? And I don't mean just going out and buying things for yourself. Are you eating right? Are you the proper weight that you need to be? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you reading? Are you renewing your mind? What are you doing to really show you that you love you? So that when you meet that person, they are also gonna know how to love you. These are the things that we need to put into practice when we're living with our mind, our eyes wide open. Because what we need, what we desire, it's already right in front of us. We just have to open our eyes to see it. And a part of opening our eyes is changing our mindset because when we change our mind, our reality changes. I hope I've shared my thoughts on living with our eyes wide open and setting our mind <laughs> on the things that we want and desire, focusing with intention and understanding that what we desire is already there. I hope I've painted a good picture so that you really grasp that concept. If you don't, remember, there is a comment section down below. Please leave me a comment. I will definitely get back to you. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to share this to your social media platform like Facebook. And last but not least, if you have not subscribed to my channel, my face is going to be up here in a circle. I need you to click on my face, select the gray bell, select all. Not only will you be subscribed to my channel, but you'll also be notified of all the new content that I place up here to YouTube. So I have enjoyed hanging out with my dreamers today. Have a great day, dreamers. Yeah.